Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the data interpretation that is uh, tablet data interpretation. In the previous sessions, uh, we have discussed a uh, few problems related to tablet data interpretation. Let's continue tablet data interpretation. See, first of all, what is the information which is provided in the question? Study the following table carefully and answer the questions which are given below. Here the information is about, uh, see here, number of students enrolled in different academic faculties of four institutions during the year 2008 to 12. Here the information is uh, very important. Understanding of inform information is very important. See here, the information, all the information which is provided in the table, that is here, this is college and this one is uh, year. Here the years are from 2008 to 2012, 2008 to 2012 and uh, the information is about uh, number of students enrolled, all the values which are given in the table, all the values are number of students enrolled uh, in different academic faculties. Uh, in different academic faculties in the sense it might be BED or MED or MSc. It might be BED, MED or MSc. Total three different academic faculties are there. And the number of institutions are four different institutions. First one is DAV College and second one is City College. Third one BKM College and the fourth one is BP College. This is the information which is provided over the years 2008 to 12. That is the given information. Once you understand this information clearly, now the problem solving related to any kind of tablet data interpretation is very simple, right? Once look at the first question, which is related to this particular tablet data interpretation. See here, what is the average number of uh, enrolled students in BED course over 2009 during the year 2009? Here you need to check it out the course BED, BED in which year 2009, BED 2009 you need to calculate the average number of students enrolled. What is meant by average? Average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations, sum of observations by number of observations, right? Here. In 2009, in 2009, BED value over all the four different institutions. See, first of all, I will round off the BED values in the year 2009. Here, this is the second year which belongs to 2009 and we are searching for BED course. First value is 534 and next, uh, this is the college of DAV. And the second college, City College in this uh, 234. And the third college, BKM. And the BED candidates enrolled 126. And last one is VP. And that value is 478. Add all the values. 534 plus 234 plus 126 plus 478. These are the four different values over four different uh, institutions divided by number of observations which is nothing but number of different colleges which is uh, 4. Now you can add all the values you will get the answer. Here 4 plus 6 10, 10 plus 8 18, 18 plus 4 22, 2 carry, 3 plus 2 5, 8, 10, 17, 1 carry, 5 plus 1 6, 8, 9 and 13. 14 1372 divided by 4. 1372 divided by 4. Therefore, our required answer is cancel these values. You will get the correct answer. Here, 4, 3 is 12. And next, uh, 17 will be left over. 17 in the sense, 4, 4, sir. And again, 1. 1 is the remainder. And next, uh, 4, 3, sir. 4, 3 is 12. 343. Once check it out, 340 is there or not. Yes. 343. Option A is the right answer. The average of all BED students uh, who are enrolled in four different uh, institutions over the year 2009. 
that is 343 that is the required average option a is the right answer for this question let's move on to the next question see here how many students got admission in msc in dav college taking all the years together here we need to calculate uh, total number of students who got admission in msc in dav college dav college means that is first one and we are talking about the course msc msc means that is this course and we are calculating the total number of students who got admission add all these values you will get the answer here i will write one by one in the year 2008 675 and next uh, 1145 454 and then 810 after that triple six these are the values that you need to add here once add all the values 5 plus 5 10 4 plus 6 10 10 10 20 2 is the carry and next 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 5 16 17 19 plus 6 25 2 is a carry and next here it is uh, 6 plus 1 7 11 19 19 plus 2 21 21 plus 6 27 2 is a carry 2 plus 1 3 3 7 5 0 3 7 Five zero. That is the required answer. Option B. Next question. The difference between number of students enrolled in City College in 2010 and that enrolled in a DAV College in 2011. See, it is very important to find the difference. Whenever you are calculating the difference of all these values, first of all, you need to verify City College 2010 total. City College 2010. That is third row. Third row City College. This is the second one City College. And uh, in 2010 total value. Total value in the sense uh, it is a combination of BED, MED and MSC. First I will add these values. Here first one is uh, City College. And I will add all these three values. Triple four, three thirty two, and uh, three ninety three. Add all these values. You will get here units plus nine, and here it is uh, seven plus nine sixteen, and next uh, seven ten eleven eleven sixty nine. This is City College two thousand ten. City College two thousand ten value, and then second one is DAV College two thousand eleven. DAV College 2011. You need to calculate this sum. 2011 in the sense that is uh, fourth one. DAV College means that is uh, all these values. You need to add all these values. First one is 465. And next 434. And then 810. Add all these values. Here it is 9. And this is 9 plus 1, 10. And next, uh, 8 plus 8, 16 plus 1, 17. This is DAV College 2011 total. Now the question is, uh, what is the difference between those two values? Uh, now you can calculate the difference between these two values. 1709 minus 1169. 1169. Subtract these two, what you will get here. 9 minus 9, 0. Now here it is, you can carry... Uh, you can borrow uh, 10 here. 10 minus 6, 4. And here it is 6 minus 1, 5. 540. 540 is the difference between uh, those two values. Option C is the right answer for this question. Next question. Approximately by what percent the number of students enrolled in MED in BKM College in 2009 is more than that of enrolled in BED in the same college same year. Here the college is BKM college. This is a college which we are talking about. And we are talking about the year 2009. That is second one. B BKM college 2009. And we are talking about uh, which course. One is MED and the second one is BED. We are comparing these two. 
here the values are MED value. What is MED value? 243. Whereas BED value? BED value is 126. These are the values. Now, the question what he is asking is approximately by what percent is this value? Is this MED value? This MED value more than that of BED value? That is the question he is asking. It means you, are, you have to calculate approximate percentage more than. Approximate percentage more than. What is meant by percentage more than and how can we calculate? It means very simple. Whenever you are comparing two values, uh, there might be a chance of asking that uh, either it is percentage more than or percentage less than. As comparing with the uh, BED value, MED value is more. So, we need to calculate a uh, percentage more than. Suppose if the same question is asked in reverse manner, in that case, in uh, reverse manner in the sense, uh, BED is how much percentage less than that of uh, MED. In that case, uh, you have to calculate percentage less than. But here, MED is how much percentage more than that of BED. So, the required answer is uh, difference between those two divided by less value. Difference between those two divided by less value into 100. Whenever you are calculating percentage, into 100 is the common thing. Now, what is the difference between these two? 243 minus 126 divided by 126 into 100 percentage. Now, here it is uh, 243 minus 126 which is uh, 117 divided by 126 into 100. Now, you can cancel with 9 table, 9 thirteens, 9 fourteens. 13 by 14 into 100. 13 by 14 into 100 and you can also take this one as uh, 7 times and this is uh, 50 times. Uh, here it is uh, 13 into 5, 65, 0 is there, 650 divided by 7. That is your required answer. Once you can calculate approximately what you will get here, 7 nines are 63, 7 nines are 63, remainder is 2, 20. 20 means uh, 7 2 sir. Here your answer is uh, 92 point something. Definitely 92 point something. Once you look at the options, uh, 92 point something is approximately close to 93 percentage. In this way, you can calculate the approximate values. Don't go for another or uh, another after the decimal point. What what should be the answer? It is not at all required to calculate. Why? Because uh, you don't have other options like. Uh, 92. Suppose if you have an option like 92 and 93, then you can calculate uh, this particular decimal point. But here you are able to calculate only the approximate value. When you are calculating the approximate value, don't go for exact value. Always trying to calculate uh, approximation so that you will uh, save your time in uh, examination point of view, especially in competitive examination. Time is very crucial, right? Here the answer is uh, approximate percentage is uh, 93 percentage. Option D is the right answer. Last question in this session. The ratio between number of students enrolled in BED and uh, MSc in DAV College 2011. Here we are talking about DAV College and the year is uh, 2011. And the year is 2011. And the ratio is for BED and MSc. BED is to MSc. BED is to MSc. That is the ratio we need to calculate in the year 2011. Which college? DAV college. DAV college 2011 BED is to MSc. Here BED value in 2011 for DAV college 465 is 2 and uh, MSc value that is the third one 810 465 is to 810 here you can cancel with the uh, 5 table 5 9 sir 45 and next uh, 5 3 sir and then after that here it is one time and next uh, 31 31 means 5 6 sir and then one is left over two times sir. again you can go with uh, 3 table 3 3 sir 
three ones are, and then three fives are fifteen. One is uh, left over. Three fours are twelve. Thirty one is to fifty four. Thirty one is to fifty four. That is the required ratio of uh, BED and MSc students who are enrolled uh, in DAV College in the year two thousand eleven. Thirty one is to fifty four. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.